Hey, what's up guys? T-Man here, and this is a walkthrough of the Payday 2 safe house. Now, when you first come into the game, it's going to make you come through this area right here, which is like a dry cleaning, uh, laundry type shop, I guess. But anyway, your safe house is through here. And when you first come in, you're like, it's really not much, but a really little shitty apartment type thing. But eventually it asks you to put money right in here. And pretty much everything that you need to do is pretty much downstairs. There's really nothing up here to do to interact with. Everything is downstairs. But when you come out of jobs, you're gonna have to ask it. you're gonna have to access your uh safe house through your menu or through the main menu. And when you come in you won't have your mask on. So to interact with everything, I still don't have mine on yet. To interact with everything as far as like the shooting range uh, and all that type of stuff you're gonna have to put your mask on okay now here's pretty much where everything goes down you have your cameras here you can view your cameras around your safe house and inside Now in here is kind of a uh, like a uh, lock picking range. Kind of see how fast you can get through there. If you have a saw unlocked, of course, it's going to be a lot faster than picking the lock. But you can kind of time yourself and see how fast you can make it through. Okay. In here, this is about the most important room in the whole safe house. This is where your money is kept. Of course, it shows your money. Uh, once you make your first million, it goes to the floor. Then you stack up another million on the table, and so forth and so on. And here's your offshore account, which, if you heard the other video, your offshore account is used to buy uh, like pro jobs and that type of stuff. Now your spending money is the money you're going to use on your weapons, your masks, pretty much whatever you want. That doesn't really have to do with playing in the game it's pretty much things you want of course you have to have those things to play better but yeah you know what I mean okay now over here this is going to show your guns the weapons you have purchased and then over here shows the masks you have purchased now you can't customize your masks these are all stock because I haven't really messed with it yet I'm trying to save up money to where when I do do that I'll still have a large sum of money left so I haven't really painted or uh, designed any of my own masks but they're the ones that I've bought to use because the, those are the ones that I, li that I like so far okay now over here uh, you can practice uh, cracking saves whether it's C4, the drill, uh, saw or whatever and through this part, I forgot to say when I was over here, through this part is a gun range. You have your ammo here. You just hit the little uh, thing on the wall right here, and they pop up, and they keep going and keep going until you turn it off. It never ends. So it's good practice if you're not used to a certain weapon. Just go in there and practice with it until you get used to it. Because like I said, uh, the aiming on this game is a little bit weird. It's a little bit different if you're used to playing GTA and Call of Duty. It's a little loose feeling and it doesn't have auto aim so pretty much you're on your own to aim but that's pretty much everything in the safe house now once you're in the safe house if you want to know how to get back to the main menu of course you can go right there that's in the pause menu but if you want to go straight to crime.net straight to do a job you just come to the laptop right here hold R2 to exit and leave the current game and you're out of the safe house Hope that helps anybody that is new to the game or is looking to get, in, get into this game. Uh, it's a cool game, like I said before. Check it out if you haven't. And uh, please hit the subscribe button and share any videos that you like from my channel. See you guys later.